How's it going, folks? This is Mike. A few months ago, I started a little series that I called The Strangest Movie You've Never Seen. And I only did one. I couldn't think of any more strange movies that none of you have seen. But I decided to do a second video in that series as a way of introducing you to Seance on a Wet Afternoon. Yeah, sorry for my incredibly bright house. I've got so much sun coming into this house in every room that uh, there's always a glare no matter where I try to film. So, seance on a wet afternoon, okay? Wow, great movie. Released in 1964, it's an English film, and it stars an American actress named Kim Stanley, who was not terribly well known in movies. She's mostly a stage actress. And her co-star is Richard Attenborough, who also, I believe he also produced the film. And of course, he's pretty well known. Um, I'm going to give you the bare bones of the story and not tell you too much because I don't want to give away all the surprises. This, this is something that I want all of you to rush out and buy so that you can see it, okay? All right, here we go. Fraught with the kind of tension that makes breathing difficult. Now, that's, that's a good opening, isn't it? This frighteningly eerie story of a middle-aged couple unable to cope with the loss of their own child has won numerous awards. Myra, played by Kim Stanley, is a mentally unstable medium that believes, or who believes, if she kidnaps a child of wealthy parents, she can prove her psychic abilities by finding the child. Award-winning performance from Kim Stanley as the disturbed Myra and Richard Attenborough as Billy, the meek, apologetic husband, combined with tension-packed location cinematography in the city of London to make this thriller an enduring portrait of madness. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you. So you've got this uh, this married couple with a bizarre dynamic going on between the two of them. And, uh, you know, looking at this cover and, of course, seeing the title, you might think that this is a horror film. In fact, I always did. I never saw this movie in all these years, and I, didn't, I don't know if it's, it's been available for very long. This is the first time I've seen it come out, and it's on DVD, and I don't believe there's a Blu-ray, so that might disappoint some of you. I found this at creepyclassics.com, which, of course, specializes in horror films and science fiction. But, in point of fact, it is not a horror film. It, um, Although it takes place at a nice, creepy old house, it's a very intense psychological drama, and it's a character study of this married couple. We learn more and more about each one of these people and that their marriage, their relationship, as the story goes on. And it, it, it reaches just incredible uh, tension and, and psychological excitement. And there is also action in the film, which uh, gives it the aspect of being a thriller. Um, I just can't say enough about it. It's, it's, it's a great film. Kim Stanley is just an astoundingly good actress. And after she made this movie... She didn't work in another film until, I think it's 15 or 16 years later, when she made the movie uh, Francis, which starred, um, what the hell is the name of that actress? Jessica Lange as uh, the actress Francis Farmer. Kim Stanley is the actress who played her mother, if you remember seeing that movie. Um, just a great film all the way around. comes from Image Entertainment, and there are no... Um, there are no extra features whatsoever. It has a very good print. My only complaint about it is the fact that the, some of the dialogue is, is so quiet. It's a very quiet film. It has a lot of moments of silence or near silence. And a lot of the dialogue is difficult to hear because it's so very quiet. And my, my big screen TV, uh, I still do not have a sound system hooked up to, up to it. And the sound that comes just from the TV made it very hard to hear. So I actually took a downstairs in my living room and put it on my old fashioned TV which I can where I can turn the volume up higher but okay absolutely worth seeing I would love to know if any of you know about this film if you have seen it but um, highly recommended seance on a wet afternoon she was nominated for the best actress of 1964 of course that was a year that Julie Andrews won for Mary Poppins but she did win um, Best Actress, National Board of Review. Richard Attenborough won Best Actor at the San Sebastian International Film Festival. Um, and even if it didn't win any awards, it is uh, absolutely worth seeing. So I'll stop. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching, folks. Comments are welcome.